Hello, 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 you guys. Welcome back to my kitchen. So, it is the end of summer. It is the start of the school year. And it's time for me to get back into baking bread. Um, and pancakes and all kinds of things. So, we're going to start up my sourdough starter. Um, I'm going to do my great grandma's recipe. Um sugar flour um if we lived in the country i would mix up the sugar and the flour and the water and stick it in the jar and stick the jar outside and collect wild yeast off the wind but i live in the middle of town in the middle of a park so not doing that we're going to cheat and use regular yeast that works now, sometimes my great-grandma would use her homemade um, brown sugar that she makes out of um, molasses and almond extract, but um, not quite 100%. I've never been comfortable doing it before. I've never had the gumption to try to make it with her brown sugar. I'm still a little nervous about that. I mean, I know it turns out fine. My great grandma used to do it all the time. It always tasted good. Never had any problems with it when I saw her make it. I've just been nervous about doing it that way. So we're gonna stick to doing it this way. A lot of times, yes, she would use regular sugar, but like I said, sometimes she would use her homemade brown sugar. I'm just not comfortable and there yet. So. Let's get started. First off, we're going to have two cups. Well, they don't have to be perfect cups. You can do heaping cups of flour. My great grandma never was one for perfect measuring. All right, so two cups of flour. And then she always just took like a half cup measuring cup, put a little sugar in the measuring cup and added it. So I would say tablespoon, tablespoon and a half. That's what she always used. And then when it comes to yeast, she never used measuring spoons. She used the little spoon out of the jar or the big spoon out of the jar. She was never perfect about any of that. So, I'm going to use the little spoon out of the jar. So I'd say a teaspoon and a half. And that. Now, she always mixed it before she added the water. So you get it good and stirred up. And then, since there's a little over two cups of flour, she always added a little over three cups of Warm water, not hot water, because hot water will kill your yeast. Warm water. So, let me grab that, you guys. Alright, here we go. Slowly add the water and mix it. a little over three cups of water and just get it good and stirred up you want to try to get as many lumps out as possible nice rich sourdough starter mix going we're gonna half gallon jar now in here we've got about between the two three four items I guess but really the sugar and the um, yeast don't make much room but this is a half gallon jar so eight cups um, but in here between the three a little over three cups of water and a little over two cups of flour. 
we got five cups now sourdough will bubble and foam up so once we put our sourdough mix in here we're gonna want to put it in a um, the whole jar in a bowl or on a big plate because it may overfill and over foam that does happen and then a tea towel and I just set it over and I'll just set it on a warm spot in my or on my kitchen counter in my kitchen um, and then with sourdough you want to make sure you use it every day or at least every other day if you're not going to be using it every every day or every other day put it in your fridge so that it doesn't get quite as active and quite as live lively um, but for this first 24 hours we want to leave it sitting on a warm spot in your kitchen <laughs> there's a cat scratching at my window <laughs> tell my cat asks to come in she scratches at my kitchen window anyways um, we're gonna put it on a warm spot let it sit for 24 to 48 hours now she's knocking. <laughs> she is so funny. Uh, on a warm spot in your kitchen, 24 hours. Um, and then we'll make our first product right away. And then add more um, sourdough starter to it by adding um, equal amounts of whatever you just used. Let's say I used two cups of sourdough. Then you're going to want to add a cup of flour and a little tiny bit over a cup of wa warm water mix it all in and then you're back up to your little over five cups of sourdough mix so there we go we're gonna put this on the counter and we're gonna leave it and we're gonna let it be so that's how you make my great grandma's sourdough starter um, I'll make other videos on things that I make out of it so make sure you come back and look for that if you like my video make sure you give it a thumbs up it helps get the video out to other people and it helps youtube want to suggest it to other people and it helps my channel grow so we'll see you guys in the next one and remember stay positive bye i'm gonna go let the cat in